cancers, my cancers. What's up, water babies? What's poppin'? Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot Channel. If this is your first time viewing my channel, hey boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Y'all, I would like to thank y'all for all of the new subscribes. Welcome to the family. We don't fuss, we don't fight, we don't do that here. We uplift, we enlighten. We may cry a little bit, we cuss a little bit, but the ultimate goal is to grow and evolve, okay? We trying to win, 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 okay? That's what we want to do around him, alrighty? So, this will be for my Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers of Cancer. Can Answer, um, y'all $40 special ends today for a 30 minute reading. So y'all better get it in because you may notice that those prices are changing because Mocha is valuing her craft, valuing her gift, okay? And the $10 reading is going to disappear forever and ever um, as of September the 1st. So if you want a 10 minute $10 reading, get that in too before the 1st. If I can get you in the same day, I will, okay? If I have to schedule you out the next day, it's simply because I was totally booked for that day, okay? So y'all, thank you for all the comments, the love. Y'all, the likes, the shares. Y'all, y'all been having my analytics pop. Thank you. Thank you. I humbly appreciate it. I, you couldn't have told me six months ago we were going to be looking at over 4,000 family members, 4,000 subscribers. I got 4,000 plus memory, uh, memories, members of my family. So I'm so thankful, y'all, for everything that you do. Thank you so much. I received my first donation. Um, was that Friday? Shout out to you. I do take donations. Um, first, I was in my pride saying, no, I got it. But no, I do need help. So if you can find it in your heart, please do so. Okay. But and I am very receptive as well as appreciative because it caught me off guard when I got the donation because I, I was just like, whoa, well, thank you, my baby. You know, so with that, hopefully y'all like my new picture because I seen it and I fell in love. And thanks to the, my donation, I could actually upgrade my feng shui okay so i got it today maybe i should have unwrapped it but i was trying to bring out y'all video and so it just happened and boom i'm spontaneous so we'll get it we'll get it rocking real quick all right so we're gonna rock out this is not a it's a general if you need a personal that information can be found down there below all right this will be from the first to the 15th of september 2018 y'all this is already september what the hell has time gone <laughs> Y'all, it's been quite the journey, all right? But I feel beautiful things, beautiful beginnings, even cancer's energy. I feel totally, it's a new. The feeling that I feel is like the rebirth, like the butterfly coming out of the cocoon, coming out of the phase of being a cocoon caterpillar, like the rebirth, okay? So I do feel like this Mercury retrograde was very uncomfortable for you guys, but it did do you justice as far as communication, meeting new people, soulmate relationships, letting bullshit go. It did a few nice things, all right? So don't. Just don't look at things in a negative aspect, and then you ain't going to do nothing but create a positive outcome going forward and external, okay? So we rocking. So the first message that I have for my cancers is appetite. This comes from the Crystal Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue, okay? What this card, it says progress, not perfection. Don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus upon how far you've come and all that you've learned. This card is a sign that you may be holding perfectionist judgments about yourself that are blocking you. Perhaps there's a fear that if you're not, if your work isn't perfect, you won't receive what you need. God and your guardian angels are reassuring you that you're spiritually perfect because you were made in God's image and likeness. You need not try to be humanly perfect. In fact, nobody is perfect in the human sense. Everyone is a work in progress. Your guardian angels want you to focus upon the progress that you've already made and acknowledge your successes. Please don't be so hard on yourself and stop judging yourself. You are lovable inside and out. If anyone is criticizing you, especially abusively, get away from them. You deserve to be with people who are supportive, kind, and encouraging. So guess what? If motherfuckers can't be your star player during this time, it ain't nothing to cut that mm, off. Cut them off. Deuces. Deuces, deuces, deuces. Holla. Two tails in the bucket. Fuck it, okay? Bye. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, so the next messages that I have for you guys come from Mother. Mother Guy wanted to speak, okay, honey? I do see during this time a lot of you guys will be aligning the mind, body, and spirit. Some of y'all are getting y'all esoteric knowledge on the will be, okay? That third eye is going to be pouring. Some of y'all are kind of conflicted internally about moving forward or letting go of fire sign Aries Leo Sag. But some of y'all, this person can be a twin flame to you, okay? But after 
actually finding the harmony within yourself, y'all. Y'all going to have to ground yourself during this time. Spirit is wanting y'all to get out in nature during this time. And during nature, some of y'all are going to be receiving some massive ass downloads. Somebody is thinking about um, starting like a, I just see some type of agricultural thing, like someone growing their own crops. Good look, sis, because this is a woman who I'm speaking to. Um, I do see also a lot of y'all during this time, Spirit wants you to kind of meditate more. Okay, you're needing to ground your solar plexus as well as your heart chakra during this time. For those of you who use crystal, who, who use crystals, rose quartz are going to be your best friend during this time. Okay. Also, um, some of y'all, <laughs> some of y'all are going to be walking into new positions, new jobs. Some of y'all are thinking about um starting your own business. Congrats. Go ahead and win, 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 win. Get that shit popping. Go, yes, you can do it. You got this. Worry for what? Fear what? Doubt not real. You create that within your mind. Let it die. Let it got jump. Take it out of your mind. Snatch that shit. Throw it on the floor and stomp, 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 stomp it dead. Okay? Doubt for what? You got this. Okay? I do see some of y'all are going to be finding out y'all pregnant. Okay? I feel like some of y'all possibly have conceived within the last month during this time, a lot of y'all are going to be finding that out. I'm also seeing some of y'all, some of y'all are coming into, uh, into union with your twin flame for the first time, um, during this period of September the 1st through the 15th. For some of y'all, it is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel like you're coming to terms of acceptance during this time and it's going to allow you to heal because your perspective is going to change about certain situations and how you see this person and their actions okay during this time i do see a lot of compromise uh compromising energy coming forward towards you guys i also see some of y'all thinking about going back to school spirit supports that okay i do see a lot of y'all are basking in self-love you're going to be loving yourself spirit is calling you to love yourself okay so if you want to go don't worry about oh what where's them what them phones gonna come from uh if i want to go get my nails done sis go get your nails done let god do his job okay go get your nails done all right <laughs> go go pamper yourself it's not your job to worry about tomorrow okay it's to it's to make sure that today you ain't go to sleep with no damn woulda coulda should is okay and tomorrow your main focus needs to be being better than you was today period okay so during this time i do see y'all working it out I also see y'all are coming into the shmoney energy looks damn good on you, baby. Okay, some of y'all could also uh, have an earth sign Capricorn towards Virgo that's trying to financially support you during this time. Oh, Lord. Some of y'all, some of y'all dealing with somebody. Uh, some of y'all going to find out that if you marry, some of y'all going to find out your husband got a mistress during this time. This person could be younger than you, and I feel like for some of y'all, you know this person. Don't go to jail. Don't end up in the back of a police car. And please comment because this shit is wild. Okay, that's gonna be a fight. All right, because I do see ground yourself, cancer. That's why you needing to meditate and stay centered because during this time, I do see a fight could pop off. All right, I don't know why mother is saying that, but you are going through um, a shifting. Okay, you're going through ascension. The, for my cancers who was allowing people to just walk over them, walk over their feelings, their emotions, and just kind of put their selves sick into how other people feel, that shit is going to die. Spirit is not going to allow you to go forward with that energy, period, because it's meant for you to win just as it is for the next person. And what makes you feel like you're less than anybody else? Fuck what people got to say. If you don't have nobody around you that cannot add to you, if they taking too much from you, get their ass back. I'm going to cry. I don't know why, but somebody needed to hear that, okay? <sighs> Y'all my family. I feel what you feel. I'm hella empathic, so I'm not going to cry. Okay? So we're gonna rise. Some of y'all during this time are going to be reuniting a family situation with the fire sign, okay? I feel like there was a new baby that was recently born, okay? Or somebody could be getting ready to deliver and you you possibly weren't talking to this person during this time. You possibly worrying about if this person is going to come back. You try not to worry so much due to the baby either uh, on the way here or just being having a newborn baby. You don't want that energy around your infant, okay? But I do see that it's about your mindset. Stop feeling like whoever I'm talking to, stop feeling like this person is going to come back negative because I feel in the past they could have been a jerk or put you in third-party situations and you've gotten to a point where you love yourself, you're healed from that and now this person is coming back around and it's taking you back to that woulda, coulda, shoulda, maybe, maybe that person might uh, phase or uh, that space, and I don't want y'all to fall into that, because don't be a victim of your own thoughts, all right, 
Don't be a diminisher of your own world, your own external world due to your internal feelings, okay, as well as your mental emotions, all right? Intellect. Use, during this time, you're going to need to use logic over your emotions to understand someone better. It's different. It's a whole different ball game to hear somebody, to feel somebody, and to understand somebody, okay? I do see during this time, some of y'all also want a family situation with Aquarius. You're going to get what you want, baby. I feel like that Aquarius was kind of holding back on giving you their cup. Okay, possibly this person could have had third party energy, but they're coming back to tell you, baby, I'm back and I'm yours. All right. So some of y'all are definitely going to be reuniting with fire as well as Aquarius, uh, particularly. I do see that. Also, some of y'all could also be coming into union with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Y'all, this person, I feel like you already known this person before. Maybe you and this person had wanted some type of family dynamic, but there was something in the way, some sort of blockage in the past. The window's open now, baby. You better jump through it and go get your boot. <laughs> Spirit, what do you have from the 1st to the 15th um, for Cancers? Sun, moon, rising, September. Yeah. Some of y'all definitely have a Sagittarius or a Leo coming back. This person definitely wants to reunite. In the past, this person could have been sneaky. For some of y'all, this person is definitely coming back with this sneaky-ass energy. But it's about that self-love, the lesson of the self-love, Okay. What did you learn from it? Not what happened, Cancer, but what did you learn from it? Some of y'all, um, oh, y'all got my nose each other. Let's get it. Some of y'all, um, <laughs> some of y'all, maybe this person possibly snuck off in the past due to the fact that they was married. They were trying to keep that information from you. And yes, okay, that information is going to be coming forward. And for some of y'all who felt like you were tied to this person as if like you couldn't move on from this person. You're going to be able to cut the ties and get that monkey off your back. And it's going to, it's time for it. Y'all going to have to make a judgment call, okay? During this time, some of y'all may have a Libra, okay, that actually wants to come in. I feel like this person in the past kind of knocked you off balance, knocked you off center, okay? But now this person wants to come in and actually give you what it is that you were expecting from them then after possibly leaving them out in the cold. They know your ass was serious, so now they actually want to come in and now they want this ten of cups. They want this ten of pentacles. They want the family situation. They want the whole nine. Some of y'all have an earth sign Capricorn towards Virgo that's trying to help you financially during this time. And I feel like you're having a having a hard time choosing um, between two people because I feel like things are looking up for you. The fire sign was a situation that you wanted to reconnect with, okay? So now you got your family situation, everything's going smooth, then boom! The person of your damn dreams, which could possibly be an earth sign, uh, a water sign, okay? Or this damn, uh, well, who else I seen? Say, or this damn Libra, okay? Or this Aquarius could now, you know, want to move forward. And you just like, oh, what the hell do I do? I'm passionate about both people, okay? But some of y'all who've lived in that third-party energy before, this is definitely a test from the universe to see how much you've grown. You're trying to manifest this love. You want to manifest this family situation. You want to manifest this abundance in our forms. However, are you willing to do the work to change? Are you willing to actually take the lessons that you've lived previously, okay? And it's not being in a place of sadness. It's not being in a place of... um what happened or let me get somebody back is or a spiteful energy is being in a place of learning from it okay to actually grow from it so that you can actually take that wisdom that you attain move forward in a positive way and be able to recognize the snake when you see one honey okay let's get it spirit why is the ten of cups here for cancer huh so some of y'all who had excuse me again some of y'all who had that who oh, excuse me y'all huh yeah, hold that whole damn uh, blooper, blooper on my boobies, whatever. We're going to keep it rolling because I ain't going to record another one. Luckily, I have nice boobs. Let's roll. Um, but I do see with this, um, some of y'all, again, who was going through a tumultuous family situation, this could have been with the Taurus or a Leo as well, I'm seeing, or it could have also been with the fire sign. Again, it starts with the mind. Some of y'all have been hoping, wishing, and praying that this person came back to work it out, you know, for the sake of your children, for the sake of your family, and ultimately be real with yourself because you love this person, okay? You're going to get what you want. One cycle has to end. So don't think if this person has been kind of in and out, just know this. The universe is working something out behind the scenes in your favor. Okay, it's gonna work the way that it's supposed to. Some of y'all have a fire sign coming in to express love to y'all, okay? This could also be a cancer Pisces Scorpio like yourself, but they come in, they send in messages during this time. I feel like they've already started now within this month of August, but the month of September, they're gonna be trying to show their face what you wanna do, so I'm gonna make a decision, okay? 
Oh, and then making a decision. I feel like this goes for the situation with the two people. Some of y'all have an Aquarius, y'all. Maybe this person could be juggling as well or could also have someone coming in from their past to make that offer, okay, to them. And maybe you're expecting that particular Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles situation from them, okay? And maybe they have to make a decision. But for some of y'all, it's going to be a very heartbreaking one. And some of y'all are going to break the heart of an Aquarius during this time, first to the 15th. Some of y'all are very indecisive about, <laughs> some of y'all don't know if y'all even want love, okay? Some of y'all are very indecisive about taking offers, okay? Especially when it comes to um, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, because I feel like with this person, you don't trust them. You feel like they be lying and shit. And I said it just like that. Yes, I did. You feel like they be lying and shit. You don't trust them as far as you can throw them. And for some of y'all, you can't throw this person too damn far, okay? Um... Whew. Some of y'all have been possibly trying to reunite with an earth sign. Maybe that you used to work with this person. Okay. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like some of y'all are putting the work in during this time as well. Okay. Some of y'all straight up putting in work with somebody who got you in a three-party situation during this time. And I feel like it has a tie to do with earth and water. Okay. So this could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And this person is telling you hopes and dreams. And it's some shit that you don't see right now, but truth is finna hit the fan. I mean, yeah, tr shit finna hit the fan. Truth is finna be exposed. And again, judgment calls. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Some of y'all don't know if you want to leave your job during this time. Okay, or if you want to just walk the fuck away from it, but y'all keep going, keep going. You may feel like you're not getting the recognition that you deserve, but I do see there is somebody watching you behind the scenes that you have no clue about. And I feel like as we move later on into September, some of y'all, by the time we get to the mid generals of September, like 15 to the 30th, I feel like a lot of y'all going to be able to come in and tell me, Mocha, let me tell you who that was watching me. Because y'all have people watching you that you don't know. But someone who you don't even expect to see your progress is seeing your progress right now and they like what they see. Keep going, baby. You got this. Some of y'all are not going to get your wish. I'm, well, some of y'all are not going to get your wish with a fire sign. Every little Sag, okay? For some of y'all, you've been waiting for the Sagittarius to come back, y'all, and they are coming. They're coming back full force full force but this person is also healing and have done some soul searching because during this time that's the word that I can use for my counselors. A lot of y'all are doing some soul searching. What it is that you truly believe in. What it is that you truly want. Some of y'all are moving away and just focusing on your damn money possibly after leaving a sneaky ass air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius okay uh or if this person left you and you feel like oh well they left you and go do or they left me going to go do this here for some of y'all this person didn't have no the sneaky shit was they wouldn't explain in their feelings and you're gonna find that out but for some of y'all you're just moving away fuck love pay me okay if you pay me I just want some money ain't nothing wrong with that some of y'all gonna be getting married during this time huh all right some of y'all <laughs> <laughs> some of y'all have a fire sign. This person is a soulmate to you, okay? Uh, for some of y'all, it's a twin flame. You want to marry this person, but this person is very defensive, okay? Uh, some of y'all are being very defensive towards the fire element during this time, okay? It's like, it's an internal fight because a part of you wants to be defensive towards this person. A part of you wants to reunite with this person. And I feel like during this time, it's going to be an internal fight, which is why you need to be grounded and stay centered. Also, meditate more. And get out in nature. Move your body. Spirit is wanting you to move your body more, Cancer. All right. Let's hope this time I don't come up with a blooper. Because y'all cars is jumping. Nope. Blooper free. Blooper free. Blooper free. Blooper free. Blooper free. Blooper free. <laughs> no boobies to see this time. All right. Some of y'all. <laughs> some of y'all. Some of y'all are married to a Libra. I feel like you left this person like y'all are married but separated. Okay. Um, Possibly in the last three weeks, three months. Um, I do feel like you left this person on the cold because they were just too burdensome, but this person is coming back and they do want to fix the marriage. They're going to communicate that during this time as well from the 1st to the 15th of September. Okay. Why the 10 of wands here? Hang man. Some of y'all got a burdensome fucking Sagittarius. Okay. I feel like this person, <laughs> this person, like they come in and they promise you all this beautiful shit. Okay. But they still keep that stalemate energy they still be stagnant and it's so fucking frustrating to have somebody stagnant but still within your energy meaning that you're here i can see you yet i don't see shit progressing okay i can see how that could be frustrating to y'all during this time again we judge me calls y'all having to make it some of y'all need to trust y'all intuition okay as far as it, it's 
Some of y'all are kind of y'all own worst enemy when it pertains to a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person loves you. Yeah, they can be a little sneaky, but for whoever I'm talking to, your ass sneaky too. That's the reason why y'all having issues with each other. It's so much love there, but it's also a magnifying glass. Uh -huh. Let me see. Uh -huh. I see you. What you doing? Uh -huh. I don't feel nothing, Bobby, but I don't know. <laughs> Some of y'all are definitely going to be moving away from an earth sign from the past during this time. I feel like this person, or well, if you had an earth sign leave you and they went toward the fire sign, you've been waiting on this person to come back. But Some of y'all... You have an earth sign that's not coming back. They went and they walked towards their karma with a fire sign, okay? Because for some of y'all, this person has a past life lover who's either a fire sign um, or a water sign, okay? What's the overall outcome for my cancers? Yeah, some of y'all during this time need to get more rest, okay? Take care of yourselves more because I do see a lot of y'all are having issues sleeping. For some of y'all, it's because you're having a spiritual awakening and during... During like between the hours of like three and five, for some of y'all, y'all are going to be having issues as far as like esoteric things taking place. Do not be afraid of your spiritual gifts. OK, the light worker community definitely needs more people to come in and, and, and spread this enlightenment, this love. OK, as well as to let people know that it's OK. It's normal to go through an awakening. It's normal to find out that you're a medium. It's normal to find out that you have any of the clairs, clear audience, you know, clear voice, any of the clairs. It's a blessing. I mean, you're called if you were chosen okay and for many of you cancers you're going to find that you're chosen some of y'all i'm seeing the ears some of y'all are going to find out that you can hear you can actually you have the gift of hearing okay to help others all right some of y'all are going to definitely be reuniting with a taurus okay this person for some of y'all is is a headache it's like you love them but you possibly i'm hearing somebody say <laughs> he's my heaven and my headache like Somebody, one of y'all are dealing with the Taurus. Few of y'all are dealing with Taurus, okay? Some of y'all have a Gemini that's trying to come in and balance things out with you. Maybe this person is wanting marriage from you and you love this person, but you're kind of unsure about them sometimes. So I do see communication coming forward. Maybe this person don't know how to help communicate or when they do communicate, they communicate indecision, which makes you kind of feel like, I don't know which way am I coming. I'm going on damn coming what you want to do. But some of y'all are definitely going to be moving forward, okay? Most of y'all are going to be moving forward with this fire element. Some of y'all are going to be moving forward towards a Scorpio. OK, a lot of y'all are going to be moving away from your past and away from people from your past and made you feel like you weren't good enough or made you feel like as if, you know, there was a better option. I made you don't, get out of that energy. I'm talking about a few people get out of that energy of feeling like I'm not good enough. Some of y'all are going to be moving forward, possibly with the Capricorn. OK, and this person, but some of y'all definitely have life partner energy on them. Some of y'all are divorcing a Capricorn. All right. But. For some of y'all, most of y'all are going to take a leap of faith towards love during this time and drop the burden, some ideas around it. Some of y'all are also dealing with an Aries, okay? Um, I do see that there's going to be a tile moment possibly regarding Aries very, very soon, possibly between the 1st and the 15th, but I do see that this can actually extend between the 15th to the 30th as well. Y'all come in and let me know because it's a bunch of shit going on in these cards, okay? So this is what I have uh, for my cancers between the 1st and the 15th of September. All right, if you do need that personal, hit me up. We all remember $10 reading ends on September the 1st, all right? So y'all better get them in. Uh, also, y'all, $40 birthday special reading with I did with you and Leo. That ends, the last day of that is today for $40 for 30 minutes. So I'm not 100% booked. I do have openings for today. If you need that reading, hit me up. I love y'all, booze. Till next time.